Kidio Go presents Genius Insight Sleep and Children with Dr. Milan Lebray. Do your children or students ever seem sleepy? Are you ever confused about exactly how much sleep a child should get or an appropriate bedtime? Are you wondering how sleep impacts your child's development and mood? In today's Genius Insight, we'll answer these questions and more. But before we dive into this topic, I want to thank you for continuing to watch this channel. Without your continued support, we wouldn't be able to grow as a channel and company. If you like what you've learned today, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Let us know if you've learned anything surprising today in the comments below. Now let's get started. The right amount of sleep is absolutely essential for humans and particularly important for children. When children get an insufficient amount of sleep, it can cause several serious problems including decreased brain development, learning issues, and more frequent negative emotions such as hyperactivity, impulsivity, and attention deficit problems, just to name a few. But interestingly enough, it can also contribute to weight management problems, growth issues, and an increased frequency of illnesses. So with all that said, let's take a look at sleep requirements for the different ages. Depending on your child's age, the amount of sleep they need per night changes. Each stage from toddler to teenager has different sleep requirements, but in a 2019 research study done by the American Academy of Pediatrics, AAP, they found that only 48% of school children ages 6 to 17 get 9 or more hours of sleep each night. That means that more than half of the children are not getting enough sleep, leading to a host of problems. So how much sleep is needed for each age group? Most new parents will complain that they are sleep deprived because infants are known to wake up often and cry through the night. According to Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital, newborns and infants should get 12 to 16 hours of sleep. The reason babies don't have regulated sleep schedules is because newborns have yet to develop a circadian rhythm. This is your body's internal clock knowing the difference between day and night. As a result, a newborn may wake up every three to four hours for feeding or a diaper change. And unfortunately, there is no way to rush the development of the circadian rhythm. So be patient and make sure you and your baby are both getting enough sleep. As the months go by and you hit the year mark, you officially have a toddler. Now is the time to start preparing yourself for the terrible twos. Toddlers typically condense their sleep patterns into an afternoon nap and a whole night of sleep. Toddlers need to sleep between 11 and 14 hours a day. At this point, your toddler should be in a crib. But watch out, your curious toddler may try their best to escape. It's recommended to leave toddlers in their crib without any toys, books, or objects they can use to prepare for their jailbreak. Your toddlers must have a bedtime routine. A good suggestion is to get them ready for bed with a warm bath and calming bedtime story. Your toddler might not want to sleep and throw tantrums. A sleep routine can help this, but it is also vital that you do not bend your bedtime rules no matter what. If your child keeps getting out of bed, put them back immediately. The first couple of times this happens, it may feel like a physical and emotional standoff. But no matter how long it takes, don't give in. Consistency is essential in parenting. If you give in, children quickly learn that they can get their way with a tantrum or tears. Once your toddler becomes a preschooler, they need between 10 and 13 hours of sleep, including naps. If you've developed a solid bedtime routine, this stage should be a breeze. If not, get one in place, like yesterday. You'll find yourself with a school-aged child in a blink of an eye. They grow up so fast. School-aged refers to 6 to 13 years of age. 
During these years, children go through many changes in their sleep, regardless of their school schedule, homework, or extracurricular activities. School-aged children need between 9 and 12 hours of sleep each night. It is important to set regular bedtimes and wake-up times for a child. Most importantly, keep your child's weekday sleep schedules on the weekends too. As fun as they are, try to limit all night sleepovers to when your child has school breaks. Also, be sure that your child doesn't eat too many sugary snacks late in the night and avoid all caffeine. This isn't just important for their sleep, but also for their bone development. Be sure your children also get enough exercise throughout the day. Once your child becomes a teenager, they require eight to 10 hours of sleep. From 14 to 17 years old, your child's internal body clock will start to shift to a later bedtime. You'll notice that they may start to feel less and less tired as the day goes on. This is because the sleep hormone melatonin will begin later and later as your child reaches adulthood. According to sleepfoundation.org, one study found that from 2007 to 2013, 69% of high school students got seven or fewer hours of sleep per night. So if you find yourself with a cranky, unruly teen, you may consider getting them to sleep more. But to keep them on a consistent sleep schedule, you'll need to put in the work. This means strict rules about screen time, homework, and limiting caffeine and sugar consumption. Make sure your teen is also active throughout the day, but more importantly, be sure to keep their bedroom a device-free zone. We've covered a lot of ground here, but let's look at a few signs to see if your child may be lacking sleep. Here are a few signs. Your child's school may tell you that they fall asleep during the day. Your child may be hyperactive or impulsive. You may find your child struggling with schoolwork, having trouble paying attention, or just be extremely moody. Your child may be gaining weight or seem lethargic. If you've seen any of these, it may be time to look at your child's sleep habits. The best advice is to keep a sleep pattern and stick with it no matter what your child's age. Be sure that your child has time to relax at least a half an hour before getting ready for bed. If they're older, this can include a routine just as simple as brushing their teeth, washing their face, listening to calming music, or even doing meditation or light stretching. Most importantly, turn off those super fun electronic devices. Let's do a quick review. Sleep is one of the most helpful things we can do for our bodies. The AAP states that an infant needs between 12 and 16 hours of sleep a day. Toddlers need between 11 and 14 hours of sleep. Preschoolers need between 10 and 13 hours of sleep. School-aged children need between 9 and 12 hours. And teenagers need between 8 and 12 hours. A bedtime routine is essential for all children. Do not deviate from bedtime and wake up times, even on the weekends. Limit caffeine and sugar intake, and remember exercise can also help better sleep quality. Limit screen time at least 30 minutes or more before bed, and make the bedroom a device-free zone. Lastly, look for signs that your child isn't getting enough sleep, such as falling asleep during the day, trouble concentrating, hyperactivity, weight gain, or moodiness. If sleep isn't the issue, consult your doctor. So that's it for this episode of Genius Insight. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our Genius Insight. Thank you for joining me and we'll see you next time.